All right, double check to make sure all that's all tight. Mine obviously are not. All right, now those are all a little bit tighter. Yeah, I would definitely recommend these longer screws. I, I don't have much screw hanging out from the beneath that, but oh well, should be okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and and uh, go ahead and build the rib here. We have a little piece that has grooves in it, and the grooves from the from the belt are gonna go ahead and slide in that, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect a connect the little Y clamp piece. This little piece right there and they should go together like that and then we're gonna go ahead and attach a, a bolt to it to hold it in place All right, and then we're going to go ahead and grab the two carriages, I guess they call them. One of them has front and one of them has back, so, you know, orient them so the back is to the back of you. And then go ahead and drop a couple screws in these, bolts in these, nuts in these little holders. And those should stand up like this. And this should hook in with the belt going under this little groove right here. I'm going to assume that you can see that. Alright, there's one. That one says back, right? Yep, yeah, this is back. And this one says front. sure everything's good there I'll go ahead and take a nut oh, now this is difficult stick it in that top rib and then we're going to go ahead You get the idea. Put put nuts in all these little slots and then tighten them, right? Okay, you'll get it. So we'll just do it. All right, so you got all those in, and you don't want to really tighten these nuts down. You're just going to kind of leave them just a little bit loose so that we can go in and adjust them later. And then your Y stage little topper should fit right on top like that, all nice and snug. And then we have three holes right here. One, two, three. And we're going to go ahead and hopefully get all these in. I see what I missed. So, or it fell out. I didn't miss it. It just fell out. All right, when you've got that done, go ahead and tighten all your bolts down. Make sure everything's all nice and tight and snug. And the 
we go. So we got these little flan flange bearings here. The, the outer lip, outer edge rim is going to go on the innards of this box. And we're going to go ahead and stick four of them. Sorry about my heat, you know, what do you do? It's cold outside. It's loud. But you can go ahead and stick these four, uh, oh, into the holes. Oh. Make sure you've got your hot glue gun on because you're going to need your hot glue gun here in a minute. Just like that. And so then we have should have some rods. Okay, so it says the shorter ones, so we're gonna take these long ones. You know, I really... And then we're going to want to take our glue gun and put just a little dab of hot glue here on these bearings to hold them in place and be really careful not to get any on the rods and if you do you know, pull it off Now that that's done, just double check to make sure you don't have any glue hanging all over the place, which you know you will because it's hot glue and hot glue is awesome like that. So peel all that stuff away and double check all your bolts and make sure everything's tight. And there you go. There's the Y stage.